Hello. So we are back. Saturday, and we have a job, which, you know the moment when you have to fix something, but you have no idea what it is? So check here. So uh, this came with a cable and a connector, and we have to fix this. Yeah, it's a customer job. Now, I did have to search online to find out actually what it is. So check here. It's an autopilot. I didn't even know, actually, the, a boat can have an autopilot. It's insane. So you can see it can connect it and, uh, you know, he, the, the, I don't know, this device probably will make the boat to follow a GPS truck or something. Now, what do we know about the device? It's working with 12 volts. The standby current should be like 40 milliamps. I can bet this is the, the standby current. And uh, I don't know. That's all what we know. So we have to fix this. I mean, I don't know how. I don't know. It has no power. has only a connector. I don't know the wires. I, we don't have a schematic. So we just with basic, yeah, general knowledge of electronics, we have to be able to fix this device. The customer said there's no powering on. So uh, I would say let's open this. I guess he has those screws here. Okay, this is missing. This is missing. Clearly, this was opened before. This is missing. Yeah. So let's open this and have a look inside. Hmm? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see how a boat autopilot looks like. And that's the device. Wow. I mean, clearly here we can see some gears. Electric motor. A board. That's nice. Okay, so uh, how we can apply knowledge, general knowledge to this? Now, any device, yeah, like any, like you can take a phone, laptop, TV, stereo, this device, any it will have a chip, which is always, always on power, yeah? And it's reading the power button, okay? On this case, I don't know, there's no power button here. Probably the standby one, I have no idea. But that's the idea. <clears throat> the idea when you repair something which you don't know nothing about it. So you have to find that chip, which is reading the power button, that she must be under power, yeah? And, uh, yeah, basically, if that chip has power and the power button has voltage and is already in the power button, then it's a big problem, okay? But most of the time, that chip doesn't have power, okay? So, uh, not sure what we can do here. I will say, let's take out this board. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, on those days, even the boats, they have autopilot. Crazy times we are living in. Lol, what is there? I mean, it's a, it's a tiny cable with something there. Probably there can be some GPS there. I don't know if you can see it. What is there? It's a thingy which is moving. You can see? And this is a ribbon cable with a lot of wires. Look there. So what is this? I mean, I don't even know how this is working. Yeah, I was able to unplug it. And then we have this freaking board. Look at this, how complicated it is. 
<laughs> How we can fix something like that? This is insane. I don't know nothing about this. And you know the scary part? Why this thing you need an optocoupler? Oh lord, look how many wires actually are inside of this. Uh... No, one second, no. This, we have two wires. Yeah, actually, yeah. One, two, three, four, five wires. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Check here. So how we can test something like that? No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Uh, check, okay, let's assume it's working, let's, I don't know, no, 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 we have to test it. We have to see this working, like moving, yeah? So, okay, I suppose the big wires are plus and minus, right? That's what I suppose. I can't see liquid damage. No, I, can't, I cannot see something like that. So if the big wires are plus and minus, first, how we you figure it out which is plus and minus? Because it's weird, yeah? It's just weird. It's just strange. I can see a MOSFET here. On the wires, I suppose it's ground, but it's not. So let's get the minus of this one, of this capacitor, yeah? And no, it's no minus. Lol. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that is strange. So the minus of this capacitor doesn't go on any wire here. I cannot see coils, like big coils. Actually, I cannot see any coil here. Like, okay, it's a switching power supply. Okay, let's try to figure it out in a different way. Uh, probably it's pointless. No, 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 because the motor uh, is connected probably on this bridge. So you cannot check the minus on the motor. No, okay. How you will fix something like that? Without knowing nothing about this. Okay, let's see the minus of this capacitor. Actually, it's going anywhere. Yeah, it's going here. So I suppose this is ground, yeah? This is ground, yeah. So clearly, this is ground. Doesn't matter what the wires are saying, yeah? I can see here a common point. I can see here a common point. Yeah? So this is ground. This is ground. Okay, this ground, like how I said, is not going to the, to the cable. So that's make me wonder because ground is always common, apart from the fact when the manufacturer has a brain issue or a brain damage and actually it's using, uh, uh, you know, it's using components on the ground line. I seen that. I seen like, okay, let's put the regulator on the ground line. Yeah, the, let's don't put it on the plus. Let's leave the plus and put the regulator on the ground line, which is insane. But yeah, I seen that. Manufacturing brain damage. Okay, this one is ground, this one is not, and look, look here, so check it, okay, so this is ground, and let's see if any of this pin is going here, no, okay, no. So how the ground, how, how the ground is coming to this board? I mean, it must be one of these two big wires. I, I believe this is, will be a long video. It will be a long job. Because we have to figure it out how this is working. Otherwise, we cannot fix it. Yeah. Here I have a carbon resistor. Oh, and it's not doing anything. Let's have a look under the microscope. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't look like a capacitor. I mean, this looks like... A, like a carbon resistor, right? Yeah, this thingy. But it, what is strange here is the what is connected between the wires, yeah? Those big wires. 
So what's the point to have a carbon resistor to short those wires? It's, yeah, so that's the color of the capacitor. That's the color of the carbon resistor. And if I check here, if I check here, actually has infinite resistance. So I'm kind of stuck. I'm stuck here. Do you think actually, wait, do you think, no, probably you don't, you don't think, okay, let's follow this track, yeah, the big one, so the big one is coming to this resistor and is going to the other side here, yeah, now let me get rid of the reflections, because they are annoying, it is going on the other side of the board, here, let's see where it's going. It's going nowhere. No, it's going inside of the motherboard. You know, that's the hard part, to figure it out which is plus and which is minus, just to know to, how to come with the power. Okay, clear, clearly, we have a capacitor from this one, yeah? So this one, this capacitor is coming from here, okay? From the, the, the blue wires. And the capacitor is going where? It's going nowhere, I can't believe. I mean, the track is going inside of the board. I can't see it. No, this is something else. Okay, I'm still confused. I'm... Um, like from like how long 14 minutes and i didn't figure it out which is plus and minus if we don't know which is plus and minus we cannot move forward okay let's see this one where is it going it's not going here no not here Is going here the capacitor? Okay, let's uh, let's let's go on another on a different way. Let's try to figure out the plus because the ground looks like has no connection with the board for some reason. I mean, can be the, the other ones can be ground. Those ones, this, this, or the green one. No, it's no ground. This is a weird design, I swear. So none of those pins are ground. Okay, let's try to figure it out by plus. So 
So the plus of this cap comes from the output of this uh, regulator, yeah? This clearly it's a regulator. And... No, this is not ground. Okay, so this is a big power rail, yeah? We can see here. So those, here I know is ground. Here is ground, yeah? Good. And here is, is a plus. This is a big power rail. I just want to see where this power rail is going because the current has to come in, yeah? Right? Let's see what regulator it is. This, this is over complicated you know I swear the manufacturer make it like that over complicated so no one can fix it apart from him okay so this is going to a diode let me check the diode oh yeah I think we get uh, to a point to figure it out one second Okay, so clearly, yeah, I think I figured it out. So clearly, this is a regulator, yeah? And this is coming from the output of this diode, yeah? You see the diode with the plus here. From the diode, it's coming to a carbon resistor. Then from here, where is going from here? Where is going from here? Ha, it's going to the input pin. What did I told you? Yeah? So from here, it's going... To the brown one so the brown is plus you see you see what did I told you what did I told you okay 12 volts low current because we don't know what's going on here for sure so this is plus this is minus what's beeping did you hear the beep It's beeping and it's taking 30 milliamps, you can see. So plus and minus. We have picture. We have picture on the screen. Wait, let me show you. Let me show you. So plus and minus. You see? Now the question is, it's working if I press the buttons? Hmm? How can I keep those wires here? So what is this menu? <laughs> I don't even know the menu. Okay, that's an error, you don't think? Or you don't have enough current. One second. Uh, it's, it's needed uh, current for the motor. You need, you need current. It's working. You can't see it. Ha! Huh? You can't see it. It's moving. Wait, so this actually has no problem. Huh? Oh, okay, I don't have enough current, sorry. Yeah. 
It's working. Okay, you know what? I believe this device is good. I believe the customer has an issue because everything is working fine. I believe the customer has a problem with whatever is here. Yeah, I don't know what is here. It's plus and minus. That that I can uh, I can see is plus and minus. But there you have few more wires, which I don't know what they are doing. But clearly, this device is working. The customer said the device is not coming on. Let me check to be sure. Uh, it's not powering on. That's what the customer is saying. And he said he tried to fix it, but he couldn't do it. And he believes it's the, 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 the motherboard. Uh, also, he's believing the water goes inside. He clean it. Yeah, that's no problem with the device. No, no, no. He has different issues. Okay, I got it now. Okay, he has different issues. And probably the issues are from this connector on the other side of, of the whatever is connected here. But this device is good. I believe this is some kind of GPS uh, device or... I don't know how it's called, you know, the, the marine thingy, which is moving, you see, it's moving freely. I don't know how, what is the English name of the magnetic thing, you know, the, 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 the needle. To show you the north, the south, I don't know the English name. Hmm. Yeah, probably something like that. But this is good, okay? So uh, this is just an example how you can figure it out uh, a board with general electronics. Yeah, you see, in this case, the the manufacturer is kind of you know it's on his word. He made it like that, so only he to be able only he to fix it. Yeah. On this case, we don't have a common ground. We have a a, a common plus, but no ground. Yeah. This is crazy design. And he made it on purpose. But everything is working fine. The microcontroller is responding. I will stop now because I believe this device is good. I will speak with the customer. I will say, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.